I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is our No Man's Sky VR review by Barefoot Gaming. What took us so long, Louie? No Man's Sky VR came out weeks ago. Well, I'll tell you what took us so long, even though you don't care, obviously. I care. It took so long to put piles and piles of hours into this huge game. Here's the problem with really, really big games, okay? Now, neither Louie nor myself had played No Man's Sky prior. So it came out in VR, we're like, oh, gotta make sure we get ready to do yep. the review. But you can't just put in two hours into No Man's Sky and go, nope. we're ready. There's layers. It's like an onion. It is like an onion or an ogre. Or a parfait. Louis, what do you do in No Man's Sky? Uh, what don't you do in No Man's Sky? <laughs> there you Sky? go. That really wraps up the whole review. You do everything. You you go from Minecrafting to sporing. It's from one game to the other. Okay. That's terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. I actually get what you're saying. It's If you've never played it and you've only seen the videos, the Minecraft aspect is you can terraform everything. Yes. Not right away, but almost right away. You can get a weapon that'll let you dig holes in everything. You can also backfill in everything. Yes. It's just not um, voxel based. Yes. And as far as the spore goes, you start off, you're on a planet, and you end up talking to a lot of different species and making friends or enemies depending on your gameplay style. There is a story, and it's to drive you from, you know, the beginning to the end. The storyline is secondary. There's procedurally generated planets so they're always going to be different you'll pop in and I mean once you've generated them they'll yep. always be the same everywhere around but your ships there's an infinite not infinite but there's a ridiculous number of different ships that you can buy from, there's from ships to exocraft to freighters ever you it's just it's a massive sandbox of a game and it's I don't know I don't know what else to say like it's you do trading, you do resource gathering, you build bases, it's multiplayer, it's available on HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, Windows Mixed Reality, Pimax, Valve Index, all the VR headsets. It's a mouthful, I know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then on top of that, you've got your trading of, you know, the ores and everything that you put into, you know, digging and, and you get all the different things and you can combine them and you can, you know, make things with the resources you've gathered. It almost teaches you salt. chemistry. Yes. It's, there were a couple times where Louie and I were playing together and I'm like, dude, I can't remember what I need to do this to make that. Like it's, there's a lot. The game gives like, you a dude, lot. it's sodium. Come on, <laughs> get your salt together. But he was like, nah, that's it. That's, that's what I was like. That's it. Salt Pe joke? Periodic oh, I get it. Joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's get to the actual review. Let's list some pros, list some cons. This is an expensive VR game, but it's not just a VR game. It's a game outside of VR. It goes for $60 US, $68 Canadian. Yes. Louis, it, has, it has been known to be on sale. Absolutely. Give me some pros, give me some cons. Pros are this game is huge. I've been to nearly 50 planets already, and it's crazy how different they can be from one to the next and then you go to a scalding planet or a scorched planet and the different visuals for each one it's crash ships you know you get to protect freighters there's so much to do i don't know i just really enjoyed playing this and i guess one of the cons would be it gets grindy after a while it gets so grindy i mean you go to another planet to continue on the storyline but then you have to keep gathering those base resources and is really grindy but <laughs> it is before I even get to my review I will absolutely say it is grindy there is yes. no question you are going to get tired of getting carbon you're gonna get tired of mapping out you know different aliens on different planets it, yes. it's grindy keep going yep uh, but again some of the great things are the different aliens that you get to talk to and you get to progress through learning their languages, which is a little bit grindy in itself. How about you, Rob? Okay, so I'm gonna say pros, I love the graphics. The graphics are really, really cool, and in VR, I think it's it's kind of set the bar really, really yes. high. I love the fact that no matter which headset you're using, whether you're using uh, an Index, or whether you're using a Vive, or whether you're using a Rift, it will tell you which button or where on the trackpad to press. That is very nice. Such a big deal. Developers need to do more of that, no questions asked. 
I loved the first time I could pop into my ship, aim it up, and blast out into space, leave the atmosphere. I'm like, there's asteroids, and you're shooting the asteroids, and you're mining them and stuff. I'm like, holy smokes. Yes. It's it's so big. But it is so grindy, and that's a, that is a con. It, it works against you. If you're playing this game just to get to the end, yes. it, I probably aren't going to have lots of fun. If you're playing this game and you're okay with, you know, doing the grind and actually like, I, I love the different ships and you can, you can have different kinds of ships or you can have a great big ship that you can park all your little ships in and you can make yes. that a base and you can upgrade that and you can, if it doesn't glitch out. So yes. Both Louie and I, I can speak to both of us on this one, have not rage quit, but quit so that we're like, I don't want to hate this game. Yes. I was having fun. And all of a sudden, I'm trying to take off with my ship and, and my hands aren't quite lined up. And it's like, ah, dang it, because you're using your VR controllers to actually move but your sticks around. That's not to say they haven't progressed the VR game from day one when we started playing to now, it is so much better. I was falling through planets. Yes. I was falling through floors. And it is, it's getting better all the time. The developers are still working on it. So kudos to you guys. But when I take off and my ship boosts and I haven't actually boosted, and I'm moving my hand back yep. and I get caught in something and my ship shakes until I explode. Yep. I'm like, I'm angry. Yep. I'm angry. And then you have to walk halfway across the planet to fix the ship. Which sucks, because all I want to do is log out so I can cool off. But everything that was on my ship is floating out there, and I don't know if it's going to be there when I get <laughs> back. As many negatives as it has, I keep going back to this game. Yep. I like it. I I, I mean, I also like Minecraft. So it, yep. it kind of depends. And I like Spore. <laughs> it kind of depends what your playing style is. But I recommend this game. Louis? Yes. I also recommend this game. It has gotten so much better since day one. I predict great things for this game. We were having some multiplayer issues as well where we would desync. So we'd be, yes. I'd see, you know, Louis's ship on the planet, even though he had already taken and, off. And it would pin me as being somewhere. And I was already like, dude, I'm off planet already. Why, why are you still down there? And you know what? Honestly, with a lot of games, I, I would be very hesitant to say like, I don't know if this is going to get fixed. They are incredible at how much yes. they're working on this. No Man's Sky was crapped on heavily because they overpromised when No Man's Sky first came out yep. in a big way and they got piles of negative negative press for it and they didn't I'm not gonna say they didn't care. They cared enough to keep going. Yep. They just kept implementing and implementing and implementing. They didn't bail on this. Yep. They didn't move to a different game. They're like, you know what, we're gonna make the game we said and we're not gonna stop. Yep. So Kudos to the developers. I yep. find this game fun. I find it beautiful. I find it grindy. I mean, yep. I found it. other players in the game. I thought they were just bots and I waved at them and they waved back and I was like, oh, it's another player. Somebody who's not directly playing in that my game with me. Yeah, because and you I, can connect to a friend directly. I've seen a pile of them and I was like, I didn't think that would ever happen. That's it. That's the review. I recommend it, Louie. I also do. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment if you have questions. I will always do my best to get down there and reply. We are out of here. We'll talk to you again real soon. See ya. See ya.